Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. Today we'll be discussing all of the hidden rooms, unknown chambers, and secret passageways within Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hogwarts Castle is known for the fact that its location is, well, unknown. Unplottable on a map and basically invisible to muggles, the school and its surrounding grounds have quite the reputation for harboring many magical secrets. This of course includes an absolutely insane number of hidden areas within the castle. In today's video, I'll be taking you through all the ones that we know about, starting with secret passageways, doors, and shortcuts. Let's begin with all of the hidden ways that one can maneuver themselves in, out, and around the castle and surrounding grounds. Through a many number of secret passageways, hidden doors, and shortcuts, students and professors alike, not to mention Filch and his cat Mrs. Norris, have been able to move undetected through the hallowed halls of Hogwarts for centuries. Whether these hidden passageways were built alongside the foundation of the castle back in the 10th century or later on, I suppose we'll never truly know. What we do know is that the majority of the following secret ways through Hogwarts still exist to this day. 1. The Tunnel Beneath the One-Eyed Witch Statue Near the stairs that take you to the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom, there is a secret tunnel that leads you to the cellar of Honeydukes, a sweet shop in the neighboring wizarding village of Hogsmeade. One can only access the hidden passageway by tapping the hump of the one-eyed witch statue that stands there and uttering the word Descendium, which makes the witch's hump open up to reveal the secret tunnel. 2. The Passage Behind a Fourth Floor Mirror This passageway was once accessible by locating a mirror on the fourth floor of the castle. It's said that the tunnel which also led to the village of Hogsmeade and was apparently large enough to hold a meeting in, had caved in on itself by the year 1992. 3. The Passageway Beneath the Whomping Willow This passageway was rumored to have been created for Remus Lupin, who was both a wizard and a werewolf when he was a student at Hogwarts, with the intention that he would use it to isolate himself each month when he transformed. The tunnel led to the abandoned house in Hogsmeade Village known as the Shrieking Shack, to access it, one needed to press a specific knot in the wood of the Whomping Willow's trunk, immobilizing its deadly branches and allowing the traveler to access the opening into the passageway. 4. The Tunnel Behind the Statue of Gregory the Smarmy A passageway hidden behind a statue of Gregory the Smarmy, medieval British wizard and potioner, this tunnel was evidently not too difficult to find, as multiple students have been rumored to know about it, including Gryffindor Lee Jordan. Fred and George Weasley also claim to have found this particular tunnel within their very first week as students at Hogwarts, as described in the following passage from the Philosopher's Stone. Anyway, we've got to go. Lee Jordan reckons he's found a new secret passageway out of the school. Bet it's that one behind the statue of Gregory the Smarmy that we found in our first week. See you. 5. The Passage Within the West Well There is a water well located on the ground floor of the castle's west tower, which also acts as a secret passage which leads, once again, into Hogsmeade. The shaft of the well goes all the way to a fountain in the village, connecting the two locations. Of course, this passageway is completely submerged in water, making it one of the more difficult tunnels to use. 6. The Passageway by Hieroglyphic Hall In the basement floor of Hogwarts is an area called Hieroglyphic Hall. While we don't know much about this hall, we do know that it's present on the magical Marauder's map, which also shows this little known passage right off the corridor. 7. The Stairway Behind a Tapestry There's a hidden stairwell connecting the ground floor to the second floor behind a tapestry, but despite how little detail we have about it, apparently most Hogwarts students know about its existence. It's also common knowledge that the stairway features a trick step halfway up the steps. 8. The Shortcut Between the Trophy Room and Charms Classroom Yet another tapestry hides a different type of passage, this time a magical shortcut, between the room that keeps the school's trophies and the charms classroom, two locations which are indeed very far apart. In the Philosopher's Stone, we see Harry experience this shortcut firsthand. They ripped through a tapestry and found themselves in a hidden passageway, hurtled along it and came out near their charms classroom, which they knew was miles from the trophy room. 9. The Shortcut Between the First and Third Floor Another secret passage that we don't have all that much detail about, this shortcut is known to be quite spacious and connected the first and third floor. One can access it on the first floor by going behind a statue, 
the exact one unknown, and on the third floor by finding precisely the right wooden panels to open. 10. The stairway between the fourth floor and the fat lady's corridor. Concealed behind a bookshelf, there's a stairwell that connects the corridor on the fourth floor of the castle to the hall of the fat lady on the seventh floor in Gryffindor Tower. 11. The magical passage between the vanishing cabinets. With one cabinet at Hogwarts and the other in the shop Borgen and Burks in Nocturne Alley, the vanishing cabinets have a magical link which can transport you from one location to the other undetected. According to rumors, the original link had been operational until 1992, when Peeves the Poltergeist destroyed the Hogwarts cabinet. Draco Malfoy managed to fix this cabinet in 1997, re-establishing the link and using it to ferry Death Eaters into the castle undetected. 12. The Shortcut Behind Timothy the Timid's Portrait This painting of Timothy the Timid hides a shortcut between the fifth floor hallway and the Herbology Corridor. Like the majority of secret passages hidden behind portraits and paintings within the castle, access to this shortcut requires a password, which in this case happens to be Flaming Earwigs. 13. The Shortcut Behind a Gifford Abbott Portrait Hiding a secret passageway between the castle's grand staircase and the Transfiguration Courtyard, also known as the Middle Courtyard, is one of the several paintings of Gifford Abbott that hang upon the walls within Hogwarts. The password to access this shortcut is Dragon's Egg. 14. The Passage Behind a Basil Fronzak Portrait As a former headmaster of Hogwarts, Professor Basil Fronzak has multiple portraits of himself hung within the castle, including the headmaster's office. One of the paintings depicting him as a younger version of himself hides a shortcut between the grand staircase and the corridor on the second floor close to the library. To gain access to this passageway, one must say, studious success. 15. The Shortcut Behind Damara Dodderidge's Portrait This painting of Damara Dodderidge is located on the walls of the Grand Staircase and hides a passageway from the steps to the entrance of the castle's clock tower. To use the shortcut, one must provide the password, chops and gravy. 16. The Passageway Behind an Edward Rabnot Portrait Hiding a shortcut between the corridor and the seventh floor in the fourth floor hallway, this portrait is one of several of Edward Rabnot hung up at Hogwarts. Edward's portraits are known to have at least three different personalities, which likely accounts for the password to his passageway being, three heads are better than one. 17. The shortcut behind a George von Reticus portrait. A wizard astronomer, George von Reticus has several portraits within Hogwarts, including one which hides a passage between the grand staircase and the hallway on the seventh floor. To get access, one must provide George with the following password, Scurrilous Scoundrel. 18. The Passageway Behind a Temeritus Shanks Portrait One of the paintings of the wizard Temeritus Shanks hides a portrait between the school library and the hall on the castle's fourth floor corridor. Through interactions with Harry Potter, we learn that Temeritus enjoys reading the papers, which is probably why his password is, no news is good news. 19. The Shortcut Behind a Google Stump Portrait Google Stump was a shy wizard whose portrait is not fond of being around other paintings or people. Unfortunately for him, he has multiple paintings of himself around the castle, one of which hides a secret passageway between the viaduct entrance and the corridor on the first floor. The first time Google's portrait shared his password of Volo Futurus Unus was with Harry Potter. 20. The Passage Behind Percival Pratt's Portrait A shortcut is hidden behind the painting of Percival Pratt, which hangs in the grand staircase and leads to the school's boathouse. As a former poet, Percival can often be heard rhyming to himself and passerbys, making his password of this password is absurd quite amusing. 21. The shortcut behind an Elizabeth Burke portrait. This portrait of Elizabeth Burke, former headmistress and pure-blood supremacist, is not a particularly nice painting. Hiding a shortcut between the entrance to the dungeons and a location near the potions classroom, there's little surprise that the password to her passageway is Sutherins are supreme. 22. The Passageway Behind Boris the Bewildered's Portrait Not much is known about Boris the Bewildered, other than the fact that he has both a statue and a portrait of himself in Hogwarts. This is rather ironic considering the fact that his portrait hides a shortcut between the corridors in the second and third floor, with the password of Forget Me Never. 23. Magical Exits from the Room of Requirement 
Within the Room of Requirement, Dumbledore's army was provided with an exit that would change every day in order to keep their meetings from being discovered. The main entrance to the room is located on the seventh floor, which we'll cover in just a moment, but it's unknown if the magical ways to leave the chamber are always there or if they only appear to meet the needs of Dumbledore's army. The Room of Requirement also has a passageway that leads directly to the portrait of Ariana Dumbledore that hangs in the Hogshead in Hogsmeade. This passage only opens if someone within the Room of Requirement is hungry and has a need of food. Hidden Rooms, Chambers, and Areas In addition to all of the secret passageways and shortcuts hidden throughout the castle, there are, of course, also plenty of mysterious rooms and areas that are unknown to the majority of Hogwarts students and professors alike. Fortunately for us, Aaron and his friends were rather adept at uncovering these places, meaning that we know about several of them, such as 1. The Room of Requirement Although the Room of Requirement is unplossible and cannot be found on any map, including the Marauders map, it is known to be located in the left hallway on the seventh floor of the castle. The hidden entrance can be found across the corridor from the tapestry depicting Barnabas the Barmy trying to teach trolls the ballet. In order to enter the room, one only needs to stand outside of it and think about what they need. A door appears and the room provides a space that is exactly whatever you need at that time. 2. The Chamber of Secrets With an entire novel in the Harry Potter series named after it, the Chamber of Secrets is, well, not so secret. But although the rumor of its existence was widely known, very few had the knowledge of where the entrance to the chamber was or how to open it. Of course, that all changed in Harry's second year at Hogwarts. He discovered that the Chamber of Secrets could be accessed by speaking Parseltongue in the bathroom in which Moaning Myrtle resides, which opened up a secret passageway down to the entrance of the chamber under the dungeons of the castle. At once, the tap glowed with a brilliant white light and began to spin. Next second, the sink began to move. The sink, in fact, sank right out of sight, leaving a large pipe exposed a pipe wide enough for a man to slide into. Within the chamber lived a basilisk, which had been placed there by Hogwarts founding member Salazar Sutherin, in the hopes that it would one day purge the school of students, not of pure blood. It was said that only the heir of Sutherin could open the Chamber of Secrets, as prior to Harry, only descendants of Sutherin had the ability to speak Parseltongue, and this was the language required to unlock the entrance. 3. The Room with the Quill of Acceptance and Book of Admittance Ever wonder how students are selected for admittance into Hogwarts? While you may have assumed that this was the decision of the school's headmaster or headmistress, evidently the choices are made entirely by an enchanted quill and book known as the Quill of Acceptance and Book of Admittance. These two magical items are kept in a secret small locked tower close to the headmaster's office. 4. The Hufflepuff Hidden Sweets Room Founding member of Hogwarts, Helga Hufflepuff, was known for her love of good food, so it should come as no surprise that the Hufflepuff common room has a few secret spaces dedicated to refreshments. It's said that there's a bookcase in the common room that is actually a hidden door, hiding a secret room full of sweets. 5. The Room Under the Viaduct Courtyard Bridge Underneath a bridge in the Viaduct Courtyard, there's a secret room that can only be accessed by solving a puzzle. Close to the castle's central hall, one must find the bridge with braziers, light them and complete the puzzle in order to open the entrance to the room. 6. The Secret Werewolf Tapestry Room This room is accessible by a door shaped like a shield with a K on it that's imprinted on a tapestry hung within the castle's tapestry gallery. It is home to a werewolf statue and several tapestries depicting a story of a witch who was once bitten by a werewolf. 7. The Hogwarts Kitchen While not a secret per se, the Hogwarts Kitchen is actually quite hidden from students and professors alike. Located below the Great Hall, one can only gain access to the Magical Kitchen by finding a painting of a bowl of fruit that's located in one of the castle's underground corridors and tickling the pear in the bowl. Once tickled, the pear transforms into a door handle, allowing the witch or wizard to enter. Each and every classroom While certainly not a secret, finding the location of each and every classroom within Hogwarts is not necessarily easy. With seven core subjects and several other electives, there are more than a few classrooms for students to memorize within the castle. They are 1. The Transfiguration Classrooms Transfiguration may be only one subject, but there are actually many classrooms within the school dedicated 
to this particular area of study, including class 1 on the castle's first floor, class 34 on the third floor, class 99 in the south tower, and classroom 1B on the ground floor. Classroom 1B is near the middle courtyard and is quite large with many high windows. 2. The Charmed Classroom Designated formally as Classroom 2E, the Charms Classroom is on the third floor of the school in the hallway known as the Charms Corridor. 3. The Potions Classroom One of the most well-known classrooms within the series, the Potions Classroom is located in one of Hogwarts dungeon areas and is said to be quite cold during the winter months. 4. The History of Magic Classroom This classroom is also known officially as Classroom 4F. It can be found on the first floor of the castle. 5. Defense Against the Dark Arts Classrooms Similar to Transfiguration, Defense Against the Dark Arts has multiple classrooms in which this particular subject is taught. The two classrooms for Defense Against the Dark Arts are located on the first floor in the North Towers Class 104 and on the third floor in Classroom 3C. 6. The Astronomy Tower Astronomy classes were conducted on the highest level of the Astronomy Tower, which happens to be the tallest tower in the castle. This location is used so that students may observe the night sky unobstructed. 7. The Herbology Classroom Hogwarts Greenhouse 3 is home to the Herbology Classroom. This area is used to teach second years and older, as it contains some dangerous plants that first year students do not have the skills to handle. 8. The Arithmancy Classroom As an elective subject offered to third year students, Arithmancy is held in Classroom 7A on the 7th floor of the castle. 9. The Muggle Studies Classroom Yet another elective, Muggle Studies classes are taught in a classroom on the school's first floor. The room can be accessed through a showroom that has Muggle items and artifacts on display. 10. The Divination Classroom The classroom for the study of divination is located in the north tower of the castle. The entrance to the room is through a circular trapdoor at the top of the divination stairwell. 11. The Study of Ancient Runes Classroom The study of ancient runes, often referred to as simply ancient runes, is held in Classroom 6A on the 6th floor of the castle. 12. The Alchemy Rooms Taught only in years in which enough students expressed interest, it's likely that the subject of alchemy is offered in the two alchemy rooms on the 4th floor of the castle. And with that, we've come to the end of another video. What did you think? Did I miss any secret rooms, passageways, shortcuts, or chambers? Please share your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, remember, it does not do to dwell on dreams, and forget to live.